how to enable Ubuntu Pro to gain expanded security, maintenance, and compliance. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to enable Ubuntu Pro on the desktop edition of Ubuntu 22.04. Okay? Quick little background on, on what I'm talking about. Canonical has uh, recently announced that its security and maintenance sub -pro subscription service is now free for personal usage for up to five machines. This service offers 10 years of security for both the system and over 23,000 applications. And to quote Mark Shuttleworth, he said, Since we first launched Ubuntu LTS with five years of free security coverage for the main OS, our enterprise customers have, us, have asked us to cover more and more of the wider open source landscape under private commercial agreements. Today we are excited to offer the benefits of all that work free of charge to anyone in the world with a free personal Ubuntu Pro subscription. This is a, this is a, you know, this is a big win for uh, Ubuntu users, me included, and since it's available for, L, for every LTS release starting with 16.04, then I'm covered. I have 2204, 22.04. Uh, okay, but you know, how do you enable Ubuntu Pro? I'm sure you've seen some of the articles. You've probably even seen an ad in your, uh, in your, uh, you know, your GNOME terminal when you're running your APT upgrades in your, uh, in, you know, when you're running APT upgrades for your for your, your Ubuntu installation in your GNOME terminal. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to enable this Ubuntu Pro. And what you'll need to enable Ubuntu Pro, you're going to to enable this new feature, you'll need a running instance of of a supported LTS release which I have as you can see here 22.04 Jemmy Jellyfish and a user with pseudo privileges. Okay, covered. And I'll be demonstrating, you know, this process on how to install and enable Ubuntu Pro. And this process will also work if you have um, a text mode server installation as well. Now we're going to need, we're also going to need a token from our Ubuntu Pro subscription page, a dashboard, which means you must sign up for a Ubuntu Pro account. You can uh, simply sign up for the free account. However, if you know you'll be adding Ubuntu Pro to a production machine in your business, you'll want to sign up for a paid, uh, for a paid account. And let me show you really quick. Um, I think basically it's just kind of when I logged in here, it, it kind of logged me into my Ubuntu One. But if you go here, you can log into your Ubuntu One or create a, a you know a, a, an Ubuntu account. Log in. I'm not sure how to link from the, here to the dashboard, but I'm on the on the URL here that I need to be on. Ubuntu.com forward slash pro forward slash dash forward slash dashboard. So you want to be here ultimately right here. Like I said, if you have an if you, if you have an old Ubuntu One account like I have, then that should get, give you a leg up on on the process. Just log into that and you should be okay. Okay, so we'll minimize on that, and uh, a few more uh, a little bit more uh, ground laying here. So interestingly enough, Ubuntu is supposed to offer a prompt on the first login to allow users to enable Ubuntu Pro. Now, I've, uh, I've heard about people saying that in their, in their uh, terminal. I haven't seen it on mine, but I guess it exists out there somewhere. I haven't seen it in mine, though. Okay, there's also, supposed, there's also supposed to be a tab labeled Ubuntu Pro in the software and update tool. And I didn't check that one. I don't even know if I installed that on my Ubuntu yet. I know I have it on my Pop OS. But either way, so these are ads that people have been kind of upset about. Well, but since we all know about it, let's go ahead and enable it anyway. Okay, so fortunately it's possible to enable the feature from the command line, which is what we're going to do, which is what I'm going to show you. So the first thing you must do is claim your token from your uh, Ubuntu subscription. And that token can be found in our Ubuntu Pro dashboard, and there will be a string of 30 random characters. Now we're going to copy that string, and as soon as we do that, we're going to use that to to connect our our machine to the account. 
Okay, so the first step that we're going to have to execute is a standard apt update and uh, apt full upgrade command to make sure everything's up up to date. So once you key these commands in here, enter on that, and we'll see what happens on mine. Everything should be uh, everything should be up to date since I already did it earlier today. And if you come up clean, then we can move on to the next step. Now, if there's a kernel upgrade or any other uh, upgrade that requires you to do a reboot, do a reboot and then pick up with the tutorial after you've uh, rebooted and logged back in to your uh, to your Ubuntu. And as you can see here, everything's all zeroed out, so I'm good to go. So if you get the same results, you're all up to date, then you can go ahead and clear on that. And you don't have to do a reboot or anything, and we can move on to the next to the next step. Okay, so once you've um, once you've made sure your uh, system's up to date, we're going to go ahead and key in this command here, apt get install, and we're going to make sure that Ubuntu Pro is installed with this command. So key this in, and we're going to see if Ubuntu Pro is is already installed. So once you key that in, enter on that. Okay, I forgot to add in the dollar sign here. So disregard the top one and add a dollar sign here. And then you can go ahead and enter on that. And you'll see that Ubuntu Advantage Tools is already the newest version. So we're good there. Okay, so the next step, we're going to verify the installation with the command. And that command will be this. Go ahead, clear on that, and key in the next command. Pro security status. Okay, good. So we're going to verify the installation with this command here. So once you key it that in, enter on that, and that looks like that's that looks like that's good. Um, I haven't worked with this before. Let me just see what uh, let me see what version comes up here. Okay, good. I don't have to do any kind of uh, dash or just yeah, just pro version. Okay, good. So. Uh, Pro is already installed just by virtue of seeing this output here and then of course once you pass the version in to the Pro command you actually get the version back on the uh, on the screen output here okay so it's installed and we're good to go from there so on to the next step and and the next step will be to attach our, our, our token from the dashboard to our machine Why did it say that it's not? It really didn't say that wasn't attached though, did it? Oh, whatever, okay. Yeah, we'll attach it, that's fine.
Okay. Okay, with the machine attached, with the machine, our local machine here attached to my, to my subscription here via this token, you can see I keyed that in, I entered on that, and it went through some, um, some operations here, and it looks like everything was, went through successful, and this machine is now attached to my Ubuntu Pro uh, free personal subscription. Everything's enabled, okay, good. Everything looks good here. That's my account, my email, and it looks good there. Come back here, just I want to see if uh, anything changes here. Let me do a quick little uh, reload and see if anything gets changed on the on the subs on the dashboard side of things. Uh, quick little look here. I guess that I didn't pay attention. But this probably wasn't here before, so that probably just got added right now. So this this is probably zero initially. Now we got one active machine. Okay, that's good. I can uh, I can give it the once over later. Okay, so we'll uh, minimize that back to the terminal. And so with the machine attached, with the, with our machine attached, I should then be able to enable the uh, extended security maintenance updates, which is currently in beta. But we'll we'll go ahead and key the command in anyway. So we'll clear on that. And I'll just keep it here. I'll keep it rolling while I key in the uh, next command here for pro. And that will be to enable the updates. So once we key this command in here to uh, enable the ESM, the extended security maintenance updates here. So pseudo session pro, we're going to enable the extended security ma uh, maintenance updates here, ESM, which is currently in beta. So once you key that in, enter on that, and it's going to go through some uh, some checks here. Not sure if I should keep it here. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we'll come back when the output is done. Okay, good. That that wasn't too long. Everything looks like it's all clear. So once we enable the ESM, uh, you know, mechanism, you can see here I checked uh, my subscription, updated whatever I had to update, and everything. So once we've you know enabled the ESM mechanism, and we're clear there, we got one more step to do. So we're clear on that. Now we're going to actually check for any available security patches with the following command. And I'll key in the next command here, sudo apt list upgradable, and we're going to pipe that into the next command, and we're going to use the grep, the global regular expression finder, and we're going to find only these security patches that are part of that part of that uh, part of that service. Okay, so we're going to use APT to list out the available the available uh, you know uh, patches, security patches that are going to be that are going to be attached to the to the uh, to the ESM mechanism here. So once you've done this command here and you've piped it into grep, then go ahead and enter on that and let's see what happens. I'm not sure if it's just going to go ahead and install them or if it's just going to list them out. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'll be back in a second. I'm not sure if we have an error here or if we're actually good to go or not. Okay, so once we've once we've um, printed out the uh, the available, this kind of threw me for a bit here, but I think it's okay. Essentially, we got what we uh, got what I was looking for. It listed out the uh, the security patches that are available from the ESM, and essentially, I think what we did was. We kind of just added a repo to our sources list, kind of what, is, what it looks like, more or less. I mean, to put it in a kind of like easy to understand concept terms, this ESM wasn't here before. So it's almost kind of like adding a repo to our repo list. 
Okay, then once we've, you know, once we've seen that there's, uh, you know, what, how many, one, two, you know, like, you know, two or three updates available, and then you can come down here and, and run your standard apt update and sudo apt full upgrade command, and it's going to pull, it's going to pull anything available from the that ESM repo here that we just added so this, so once you've done all the kind of unique stuff you know at that at the top of the uh, the top of the tutorial here then then there gets a point here there comes a point where it's become standard it's like you added a repo and you're just updating the apt cache to 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 pull available updates and upgrades from that that repo essentially is kind of what it comes down to looks like and you can just kind of you know go through here, and we've seen what the, what's available, and then you just read all through that there, and then it's, it tells you what it's going to do here. It's going to install a couple of couple of uh, updates here, so too. And you can see here it even says it's going to be two from the ESM uh, subscription here. And I'm sure if you were to read these and go back up to the top, and then you would see that they they match up libjs, libopen, exr, yeah, see, they, they match up. So whatever's down here is what, what was returned up here. Okay, so once that's all been staged and we're ready to go, so it's just like a basic, uh, just like any other update that you're going to do, you key, you know, you key, the, key the, the, the Y for yes, you enter on that, and you wait for it to download and install those security patches. Wait for it to finish. Okay, that looks okay, good, just like normal, and we'll clear on that, and we'll run it one more time just to make sure from the top. One last time here. Everything should be zero, zero, zero at the bottom. Zero, 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 okay, good, perfect. So we'll clear on that, go ahead and Minimize that. I can do that later. And we'll go ahead and leave you with this right here. Don't forget, you need to create a, uh, you know, a Ubuntu account. Ubuntu, Ubuntu Pro, uh, Ubuntu One, whatever. So once you're in, and then get to the dashboard URL here, and then you just work from here and deal with the token here. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's all there is to enabling uh, this new this new thing that just came across my radar uh, a few days ago, actually, and yours too, probably, possibly. And uh, so that's how to enable the Ubuntu Pro on your uh, your LTS, your long-term support version of of Ubuntu. Mine's 22.04 in desktop, and I can I have also on, a, on my other machine I have a Ubuntu server in text mode and I can probably do it there as well if I, if I so choose so yeah I you know I, I highly recommend uh, doing this to keep your machines safe for the next 10 years not five years but 10 years so thank you for watching and I look forward to your comments and your feedback thank you